In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the use of the Unix tr command. So we open up a terminal here and we will type man tr and see in general how this command is used. It stands for translate characters. So typically you use the command, you supply one, two strings, and it can be used to uh, replace uh, characters, delete characters, etc. I think it's best to just give a demonstration on how this works. So if we type echo, this is a test, it will echo that line back to the screen. Now if I pipe in a tr command after that and say, uh, for example, take the uh, letter i and replace it with the letter x. So my first string just contains the letter I, second string contains the letter X. So it's going to echo this phrase, but each instance of I will be replaced with X. Let's see that. Yes, this is a test with X's. Now another example of what we could do is we could take, uh, for our first string, we could show all lowercase letters and replace those with uppercase letters. So this should echo again this phrase back, but all lowercase letters will be replaced with uppercase letters. This is a test. Okay, that worked. Now I have uh, stored on the computer the complete works of Shakespeare. So stored in a file called Shakespeare and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so it came from Project Gutenberg. So here's all of the works of Shakespeare. Uh -uh. And now I'd like to use the TR command to show how we can uh, count the occurrence of words in this text. And this is done by typing in TR. And the C here stands for complement. So we're saying everything that is not a letter, uppercase or lowercase. And so whenever you encounter anything that's not a letter, replace it with a line feed. And let's feed into that Shakespeare text. And then let's display the result. Okay. So what this should give us is just a list of words. The, fir the first word in the document's project as we scroll down. So what's happened here is each time it encountered a space, it gave a line feed. So we just see all the words here. Now to count and sort those words, we add the following. Uh, we're going to feed in Shakespeare again. But then type in sort and unique with a count and display that. Let's see if that works. Okay, it took some time. So as we see, in the complete works of Shakespeare, the name Aaron occurs 72 times. Well, actually, Aaron, where everything is uppercase, occurs 72 times. So if we want to actually count how many times Aaron occurs, we have to look over and see in the lowercase as well. 
So we can take care of that problem by doing this. We're going to take Shakespeare.txt and replace every character with lowercase first. So we're going to do the TR command. Take all occurrences of uppercase letters and replace those with lowercase letters. Feed into that Shakespeare and send the result to Shakespeare 2. Let's call it Shakespeare 2.txt. Okay. So what this is doing is we're going to take all uppercase characters, replace them with lowercase, and create a new file called Shakespeare2.txt. And see if that worked. And let's go through. Yes, everything's lowercase down. So now let's go back and recount the words to see how many times Aaron, the name Aaron, actually occurs. So we'll go back here and replace it with Shakespeare 2.txt. And taking some time to count that. There we go. So now we see the name Aaron occurs, in fact, 97 times. So there's a lot of other things that the TR command can be used for. If you have multiple occurrences of a character that you want to delete, you can. For example, if you want to remove all the white space from a text document, that can be done. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.